We know that one in 68 kids will be diagnosed with autism. Now, a potential breakthrough in the treatment of the disorder. Today on Delmarva Life, how finding the treatment may begin with a different condition. And while research continues, I'll tell you about a program that's using surfing to improve the lives of children with autism. Many of us can't even imagine living without an arm, a leg, a hand. Well, we're going to meet a girl who is helping those who are missing a limb, and it all started with a science project. One in four Americans is part of the baby boomer generation. That means more people need a little extra support as they get up in years. Today, we take you to a place on Delmarva that is being called a one-stop shop for seniors. Most of us don't think twice when we practice our religion, but what if our government didn't allow it? We're gonna learn more about some of the struggles people in the Middle East are facing and how a group on Delmarva is trying to help. This dog is helping when it comes to determining the cause of fires on Delmarva. Tanya, the arson dog, is here to show us how she does it. And we are in the Delmarva Life kitchen making a Peruvian dish sure to please the palate. I just want to say all that. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hopper. Welcome to Delmarva Live from Historic Studio D. So, have you seen him? John Stamos? No. no. Oh, that was yeah, that was over the weekend. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Today's Tuesday. Everyone okay. is looking for the Vice President of the United States, Joe Biden, and his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, expected in Rehoboth Beach today and tomorrow. Oh. There was all this speculation because the FAA issued flight restrictions around the area, and Secret Service vehicles were spotted as early as Sunday. So, if you see Joe or Jill, why, why do they call the Secret Service when they're so easy to pick out? <laughs> I know, It's not right? like they're hiding in plain sight or anything. So you remember at the beginning of the year, we told you about a foal born on Assateague Island in late December. The Assateague Island Alliance, the private sector friends group of the Assateague Island National Seashore, is now looking for help in naming the Christmas Aww. surprise. This little foal is currently known only as n 2 bhs dash. AL. Now, <laughs> if you'd like a little more information on how you can <laughs> give a better name to that foal, all you have to do is go to WBOC.com, click on our picture at the top of the page. And it's a filly, so you want to think girl name. Think girl name. Yeah. Well, Delaware District 3, back to back champions. Uh, the Milton All Stars fought a really tough battle yeah. last night as they went for the state championship in Dover. In the end, the team lost to MOT 5 to 9. Milton took the District 3 championship July 6th. MOT now advances to the Eastern Regionals in Rhode Island. The first game is Saturday. Now, of course, there are a lot of Little League Championship games going yeah. on, and we would love to hear how your team is doing. Send us all the info and pictures to comments at delmarvalife.com. Want to talk about you on TV. Mm -hmm. Something else that's going on is Family Fun Fest. It's Friday in Denton, Caroline County Office of Child Support Enforcement. We'll sponsor an afternoon of family-related activities at the corner of 3rd and Market Streets. Child support specialists Rebecca Heaton here on the left, Brenda Phillips on the right. Uh, we've got a flyer talking about the 4th Annual Family Fun Fest from 2 to 5 Friday. School-age kids are going to receive book bags filled with grade-appropriate school supplies. Yeah. It's a good stuff there. What a good program. Yeah. Well, you know, the Chop Tank Heritage Skipjack Race is coming up in September, still a little over a month away, right. and they're expecting more boats this year. While there's normally only six to eight boats competing, this year they're expecting maybe a dozen or more to compete in Cambridge. Now, the race will be held on the Chop Tank River off Cambridge on Saturday, September 27th, if you want some more information, or to become a race sponsor, donor, or you can volunteer. Contact the Dorchester Skipjack Committee. The number is 410-228-7141. There you go. Now, if you have ever been to a, a game at Salisbury, Salisbury University's uh, Seagull Stadium, you, you may have thought, wow, this looks kind of old. Well, that's because the home for the school's football field, hockey, and the uh, men's and women's lacrosse programs was actually built in 1980. It has not seen much change uh, since the artificial turf and the lights went in, that was in 2007. Hmm. All that's going to change. The university is going to break ground this weekend for $19 million worth of upgrades. I said this weekend, I'm sorry, I meant this winter. Uh, seating capacity is going to nearly double, and there's going to be year-round locker room facilities for all four teams. This is going to be a spectacular stadium when they're done. Good change coming to Salisbury yeah. University. Well, it's one of the scariest things you could ever want to see on the planet. Yes. A shark. A shark. Now, let's kick it up a notch and make it truly terrifying. <gasps> there you go. Don't look away from your TV. It's a cat in a shark suit. No. On a Roomba. No. <laughs> 
What? Isn't that frightening? I got two questions okay. here. Okay. Why and why? First, why <laughs> is the cat in a shark suit? Why not? <laughs> okay, you got me there. Number two, uh -huh. why is this cat so peacefully and happily riding the Roomba? Wouldn't you be? Okay, you got me there too. <laughs> so basically what you're telling me is when I run out of things to do and I have so much time on my hands. Uh -huh. Put on a shark suit. And climb on, on a Roomba. Roomba. And, and there you go. Just enjoy your ride through the kitchen. <laughs> well, from cats to dogs, still ahead on Delmarva Life, we're going to introduce you to Tanya the arson dog. Find out how she's helping sniff out the cause of fires. She's even going to show us what she's got. But next, it's hard to imagine missing a hand, an arm, maybe a leg. For one little girl, giving someone else a hand turned into more than just helping. It really means giving someone else a hand. The incredible story of how little Sierra's idea came to life. And from one breakthrough to another, find out what researchers are learning in their efforts to treat autism. Plus, Sean Stryker is learning how surfing is helping those with autism. Sean? Surfing has been described as therapeutic coming up. I'll tell you about an organization that's using the sport to help improve the lives of children with autism. The Marvel Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 